Before we get into Married at First Sight, because we're reporting, you know, I don't talk, I don't like, I don't watch Vanderpump Rules. I don't. But I do know that Vanderpump Rules had one black girl in there at one point. One black girl in there. And then during the pandemic, a lot of information came out about problematic things that were happening over at Bravo, specifically with Vanderpump Rules, which in turn, they pretty much wiped the cast of Vanderpump Rules, okay, because of the problematic things that they had done and said and all this stuff. Well, now we hear another legal battle is going to happen for Bravo. We we were just reporting on Nene Leakes legal battle. Yesterday, we, we posted a, uh, a story about Nene Leakes and the legal battle that she is about to have with Bravo. She's accusing Bravo of racial discrimination, allowing Kim Zolciak, although Kim Zolciak is not being sued, she names Kim Zolciak's racist behavior on The Real Housewives of Atlanta multiple incidences and says that it was tolerated and even rewarded, allegedly. Because she believes, you know, despite the problematic behavior of Kim Zolciak, she was able to get more things on the show, and including get her own show, which has since been since canceled. Well, and like I said to you, I don't watch Vanderpump Rules, but I watch Bravo. And Bravo's being sued by Faith Stowers. Oh, deja vu. Deja vu. I felt like I already reported on this story, but no, this is new. <laughs> let me get into this and just let you guys know what Bravo and Evolution is facing right now. Okay. So this is from our friends over at Screen Rant because what do we do over here? Cite our sources. So, Faith Stowers exclusively confirmed, exclusively for confirmed her plans to launch a lawsuit over Lala Kent's Vanderpump Rules Season 4 knife attack. So, for those of you don't, that don't know who Faith is, Faith, this is her. Thank you for your service. She's also in the military. So, this is what Screen Rant is exclusively reporting, Okay. Fans are well aware of all the drama surrounding Faith on and off the show. In 2020, Bravo issued a swift overhaul within the cast in response to Faith revealing the racially insensitive actions Stassi Schroeder and Kristen uh, Dowdy subjected her to. At the time of the firing, Lala reached out to Faith to apologize for their friendship going sour. There were reports about Lala apologizing to Faith as a truce but fans were never made aware of what caused their fallout. They didn't know. Okay. It's been two years since Bravo fired Stasi, Kristen, and two newcomers after wrapping Vanderpump Rules season eight. At the time, the country was dealing with the heightened racial tension over the killing of George Floyd. And many major companies started making strides towards diversity and inclusion. Are they still doing that? Just asking. It was at this time that Faith finally revealed the time Stasi and Kristen saw a tabloid article about a black woman wanted for theft that they assumed was her. Stasi and Kristen called the cops on Faith to pin the crime on her. All right. For those that are, aren't familiar with this story, I remember, see, this is the thing. I don't watch Vanderpump Rules, but I watch the news. The gossip news, yeah, not the regular news, not 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 the ten o'clock news, okay. So they call the cops on her, a woman who has served our country. She served our country. They call the cops on her. I don't know why I'm, I, I'm acting like I'm surprised, okay. So Stasi and Kristen called the cops on Faith to pin the crimes, the crimes on her. After making the shocking reveal, Stasi and Kristen released lengthy statements in response to the incident. Lisa Vanderpump also released a statement condemning all forms of racism. In June 2020, Stasi and Kristen were fired along with Max and Brett, whose old racist tweets, racist tweets had resurfaced the year before. And since then, a lot of you are saying, with all those firings, the show wasn't the same. The ratings suffered this past season, okay? 
But now Faith is speaking out. And she says in an exclusive statement to Screen Rant, okay, Faith confirms that Lala tried to attack her with a knife and that the production worked behind the scenes to keep to keep it from the public, to keep it from public finding out. Lala was among the remaining cast members following the four firings and Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright exits later that year. She returned for Vanderpump Rules season nine, Lala, with her now ex-fiance Randall Emmett to highlight their life after welcoming their daughter Ocean. But it turns out Stassi and Kristen weren't the only ones who, subject, who subjected Faith to mistreatment that never aired on the show. In an exclusive statement to Screen Rant, Faith confirms that she in the beginning that she is in the beginning stages of legal action. In response to a past altercation with Lala that didn't make the final cut, a friend of Faith provided a full statement to Screen Rant saying Lala can pull a knife on Faith while saying the words "I'll cut a b-word." in the middle of a heated argument in Sir Restaurant during filming of season four of Vanderpump Rules. <sighs> it's, not, it's not done yet, guys. You're just joining us. I'm, I'm updating you guys on another lawsuit that Bravo and a production company employed by Bravo may be facing. Whew. Okay. At the time of the attack, the production company Evolution and Lisa Vanderpump discouraged, I'll say allegedly, Stowers from talking from taking the necessary legal action. The statement continued. NBC Universal and Bra and the Bravo Network did not allow the scene to air in hopes of bearing the consequences. The statement went on to note Stasi's past interview on the B the B Word Bible podcast, where she laughed while confirming the Vanderpump Rules season four knife attack. Because old Lala pulled a knife out on her on camera this season, except that didn't air. This is what was said. And Brian Gray, who follows me. I didn't know you followed me, Brian, but thank you. I'm, a, I'm citing my sources. Brian, this episode was deleted, but Brian caught it, screen recorded it. Brian, you're amazing. Shout out to the screen recorders. <laughs> Brian Brian screen recorded it, y'all. Hold on. Let me, because I'm going to give Brian, I'm going to give Brian, you're going to get a moment right now, Brian. Not that you need a moment, Brian. You know, I'm, I'm being facetious. You, if you follow me, then you understand. Brian screen recorded it. Okay. Let me share my screen. <laughs> because if it wasn't for Brian, Brian is a hero. Okay. Not the same level of hero that our, our girl Faith is. You know, she served our country. But he's a hero in the Bravo world. Well, maybe not for Bravo. Okay, back to this. <sighs> See, Brian follows me, y'all. I didn't know. All right. So let me just play this really quickly so you guys can hear it. You know who but I wonder about a lot? Faith. <laughs> <laughs> She hashtags pump rules all the time, and I guess, and like people tell me this because I'm in like a group message with everybody. Yeah, and that like I think about her. She goes on red, red carpets and all that stuff. And I'm like, do you? Okay, Jubilee. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, who are you? I want to know. Like, I, really I don't know if I even podcast because I need to ask her where she got her gray highlights and why. She, like, what is she doing? What is that? And wasn't she in the military too? Did she say that? I think she was. I definitely think that you just made that up. I, there's no fucking way she was. I feel like, no, I, I think she was because, oh, Lala pulled a knife out on her on camera this season, except they didn't air that. Wait, let's play it again. <laughs> that you just made that up. I, there's no fucking way she was. I feel like, no, I, I think she was because, oh, Lala pulled a knife out on her on camera this season, except they didn't air that. You heard that? That's all the evidence we need, your honor. Look, that's all the evidence we need. So if you're just joining us, former star of Vanderpump Rules, Faith Stower, it says she's in the early stages of bringing a lawsuit against, I'm assuming the production company Evolution, Lisa Vanderpump probably will be named, Bravo will probably be named in this. Lala will probably be named. She's accusing Lala of pulling a knife out on her in season four. However, it was buried. It was not, it never aired. But 
There were witnesses. There were witnesses. So Stasi's past interview on the B Word Bible podcast, which has now been deleted, that episode. The episode has now been deleted. But but thanks to you guys, it was screen recorded. And Your Honor, here you go. Your Honor, here you go. Let me finish this. Shout out to Brian Gray. Thank you. Faith's friend noted that that Stasi has confirmed the incident during public interviews at the time of the knife attack. Miss Stowers w- was serving in the United States Army and was worried about her honorable service enduring such an event. This is according to Faith's friend. Added, she felt bullied and manipulated by the network and seeks justice. Faith appears to be finally speaking out on all the racially insensitive mean girl behavior she was subjected to by cast members that were allowed to thrive on the show until they weren't. However, Lala is still a central figure on Vanderpump Rules, as you may know. She became the show's new villain in season nine due to all the confrontations she had with most of the cast. But to know there was a knife attack that was swept under the rug years before is a shocker and a possible reflection of the controversial personalities the network was seemingly working to protect behind the scenes. Somebody send this to Nini. Can someone send this to Nini? She might need this for her case. (laughs) (laughs) Duh. Exhibit 1A. Someone to send this to Nini. She's gonna have to add this to her case. Oh, Brava, you in trouble, girl.